Okay, this will be a pretty quick and easy one, I'm thinking, because uh, what I want to talk about now is a face-centered cubic. So the atom's not going to be in the middle, like the last one. <coughs> Excuse me, getting over a cold. Uh, but this is going to be uh, one where it looks kind of like this. Okay, So the hypotenuse we're concerned with is going to come from this diagonal here to this diagonal here. And then there's going to be another full circle right here. Actually, uh, what I'm doing is I'm chopping this up into four parts. But uh, oddly enough, the art is escaping me today. And that's funny because before I made a crack at science, I was, uh, well, illustration is what I originally went to school for. Didn't finish, uh, and that's why I am where I am now. But you don't care about that. You just want to see my, oops, my lovely picture fail. And that's what I'm working on. Okay, so this is what a face centered cubic is going to look like. And uh, if I were to chop off the edge here, that gives you a better idea. All right, now what I want to do here, if I wanted to know, well, if I have this edge length or I wanted to know it, there's a relationship between that and this hypotenuse right here. Get my handy dandy line tool out. And you can see what's going on already. If you watched the last video, you probably already have solved this and have moved on or stopped listening. This is R, right, of this center atom right here. Okay. And I'm sorry, perfectionist here. This, let's just say R right here. Okay. Now they're going to be there's R here, R here, R here. Okay. And this is going to be D or A or whoever's book you're reading, this length right here. The relationship of these two to each other is 4 r squared. Make sure you get the 4 inside of there. Had a moment of panic thinking I hadn't turned the microphone back on. All right, and then the, this is just Pythag uh, Pythagoras work, uh, work here, right? So I've got 4 r squared is equal to d squared plus d squared which means that 16 r squared is equal to 2 d squared. Okay. And from that, I can say that 4 r is equal to d times the square root of 2. And from here, now I can say, well, if I've got an edge length of whatever, I just plug in the edge length for d. Or if I've got a radius and I'm starting out, I can fill it in there. Another thing you can do having this information, if they give you a radius radius of an atom in either the two, this or the previous video, you can say that d cubed is equal to what? It's the volume of the unit cell. Okay? And from there you can do all sorts of cool things, like you could convert to cubic centimeters, you can find the density, or you could start from the density and work down to this shape. Hope that helps. Bye.